And she says that the husband is a leader and in everything. So he says that you do not move a table from one place to another or put it in another room without my command. So that's why I wanted to share even in the name. <coughs> فَإِنْ أَرَادَ فِصَالًا عَنْ تَرَادٍ مِّنْهُمَا وَتَشَاوُرٍ فَلَا جُنَاحَ عَلَيْهِمَا The ayah talks about breastfeeding. And the wife who's breastfeeding, if she decides, you know what, enough is enough. The baby now is able to eat on his or her own. A year later, 12 months, 13 months, even though Allah recommended, وَالْوَالِدَاتُ يُرْضَعْنَ أَوْلَادَهُنَّ حَوْلَيْنِ كَامِلَيْنِ Let the Mothers, the breastfeeding mothers, suckle their babies for two complete years. This is healthier and this is what Allah recommended. But if they decide the weaning before that, in arada, both of them do well. Both of them are in agreement. Mutual consultation. Honey, what do you think? I think I'm getting really weak. And my hemoglobin is uh, very low. I, I, I don't think I can breastfeed the baby anymore. And by the way, the formula is doing okay and the baby can eat now. So they discuss the matter and they decide, okay, let's do it. Or if the husband is a doctor and says, honey, but it is healthier for the baby. Let me give you some multivitamins, uh, prenatal or whatever, so that you can continue for a couple more months. There is what? Mashura. When a man is very meticulous that why did you put the keychain here? You should put them there. You should not move them from this place to that place without my, not to that extent. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't do that. Yes, a man is in a charge so that no one would enter his house without his knowledge, without his permission. And uh, if I'm going anywhere, if I'm traveling, if I'm spending out of his money, I have to let him know. But not the very fine details. Okay, so that life will be easy and it is based on mutual consultation. May Allah make it easy uh, for all of us.